Hi, so I'm Lindsay Partridge and this is Soar. One of the questions that I get asked is, how do you survive 10 days at the Royal? How does your horse not go crazy? And the answer to that is, well, it actually starts before I get to the Royal and making sure that my horse is connected to me. So she's not really missing anybody at home because she thinks of me as her herd of two. And because she's not stressed in these different environments, then I know that we're better set up for success. She's naturally more of an extrovert. She likes attention and busyness. And you can just see that she's really not bothered by the entire environment. So she's not herd bound or anything like that. She's connected to me, she trusts me. So when we go into the ring in scary places like that, she's able to say, hey mom, that's okay, I can do that. For example, she's never seen stairs before, but I can ask her to follow me and do a set of stairs. insider scoops of how we survived 10 days at the Royal. Oh, exploring! Be clear the height restriction. We're checking out of horse parking. Please remember your color band and aisle number. Got it. Where's the horse parking? I don't think this is the horse parking. Looks like we're parking in lot D today. Beep, beep! She wants out of her stall, we either play, we might ride, we might go exploring, we might go have a nice hot bath and get her muscles all massaged down. And we also make sure she has really good nutrition. A couple things that I give Khaleesi to make sure she stays physically in good shape is she gets Equacel after her long workouts to make sure that her muscles can recover. She gets another formula to help her muscles and her joints. And we also give her this Biotic Aid to make sure that her gut stays nice and healthy. Every day we also spray her legs with this, so instead of wrapping her legs to prevent stocking up, we spray with this product from Omega Alpha, and then we give it a little massage in, and then her tendons have stayed nice and tight with it. So to keep her happy in her stall, there's a couple things that we do to try to make sure that she's got choice and that she can stay happy. She's got her little sweet ball that you can see that she's been attacking and enjoying. You can see with her hay set up, she can either eat the hay that's close to the open window, so that way she can get cuddles from people if she wants to, or she can eat the hay that's more into the corner and away from everybody else, or she can even eat hay from her nibble bag if she wants to eat from the slow feeder. So we try to make her happy and give her as much as we can. Take a look at some of the fun things we've done together while trying to keep her happy at the Royal.